you've bought a house. It's a very exciting time. You're going to go take possession and do your walkthrough with your real estate agent. Sometimes this is done 24 hours before your possession date. That has to be written into the contract to have that ability to do that walkthrough early. But there's no added protection. It just lets us know if there's a problem beforehand so we can call the other lawyer in advance. Otherwise, most walkthroughs are done right at possession, whether it's noon, one o'clock, two o'clock in the afternoon. The question becomes, what happens if there's an issue? So for instance, you do your walkthrough and, and the, one of the windows is broken. They broke it when they're moving out, the sellers. Or there's a stain on the carpet that wasn't there before. Or a furnace is not working. There can be any number of things. And we've seen it all. Every time I think I've seen it, everything possible, someone shows me something new. It could be a leaky dish washer or the hose that goes to a fridge to for the water uh, um, feature it snaps and there's a flooding or a house is vacant and the furnace broke and now there's broken pipes with water everywhere or it could be something as simple as you know the snow melted and there's a lot of dog poop in the backyard whatever your problem is what happens and how do we deal with it so our first step, we're going to call the other law firm. Your realtor is probably going to call the other real estate agent. What's really key here is that we do it right away. Why? Any damage that occurs to the house after you entered into the contract and between then and the possession date, that's the responsibility of the sellers to repair. So for instance, if you move into a house, you don't use the stove because you're using you know, Uber Eats or a food delivery service because it's easier, you just moved, and who says no to pizza? And then discover that the stove doesn't heat up. The other side, when we call them and say, hey, the stove's not working, may come back to us and say, well, it was working on the possession date, sorry. In which case you have to try and prove, which would be very hard, that it wasn't working when he took possession of the property. Now, if something happens after, and we hear all kinds of misconceptions this way. So, you know, sometimes we hear a question, well, there's like a 30-day guarantee that things will keep working for 30 days. No, they're only supposed to be working on the completion date, on the possession date. So if two days after you take possession, the hot water tank breaks, that's going to be on you to fix, and there's no recourse against the sellers. If you have concerns when you're going through a property, and it's hard to imagine you know, what could happen, but if you have something that the seller is going to fix, make sure that your real estate agent drafts it properly in the contract to make sure it's repaired beforehand and you don't have to worry about it. If you have concerns about damage or that things aren't going to be done when you do your walkthrough, your real estate agent, when you're negotiating the contract, can put in a hold back that puts money aside in case there's a problem. For instance, you have a home that's got all kinds of junk in it, whether it's a hoarder or just someone who saves really valuable things, uh, and you're concerned they're not going to take it all with them, you can negotiate a whole back, and then on the walkthrough that you do with your realtor, you can see if it's still there, then the funds get released to you so you can hire a trash removal company or what have you. If you have questions, make sure you talk to your lawyer and your real estate agent to make sure that they're addressed. And anytime there's an issue that comes up on your walkthrough, reach out right away. Don't delay. It's going to be important for us to help you.